Tonight on the KTLA 5 Sunday edition, tragedy strikes in South Los Angeles. Police have made an arrest following a fiery crash that claimed the life of a man and two children. We spoke to some brave bystanders who tried to battle the flames. And remembering another life cut short, a heartbroken mom speaking out following the death of her 15-year-old daughter as police continue to hunt for her shooter. And making the rounds in Southern California, Vice President Pence is on day two of his Southland visit as he works to raise money for GOP candidates ahead of the midterms. Hey, greetings, everybody. We're taking a look at some wind advisories that are out there in some of our inland areas. Yeah, you can see this camera shaking a little bit. We're going to talk about that and some rain on the way coming up next. I'm Steve Harbin coming up in sports. Dodgers wrap up their weekend series against the Giants. Angels look to salvage one against the Yankees. And LeBron James faces elimination in the first round of the NBA playoffs. It's all coming up on the KTLA 5 Sunday edition. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chamber. And hi, I'm Courtney Friel. We begin the 9 o'clock hour with the tragedy in South Los Angeles, where a fiery crash killed a father and his two children. Yeah, now the driver, who police say was speeding through a red light, has been arrested on suspicion of DUI. KTLA 5's Elizabeth Espinosa live tonight. She's got details for us. Elizabeth. Really horrifying. That driver, we're told, was uh, driving a basically an SUV, a Nissan Xterra. Let me show you, though, this growing memorial. You see the candles here in the shape of a cross. Now, tonight, I have to share with you that family members, as you can understand, are devastated and don't really want to speak on camera. I was, however, able to speak to a cousin who only spoke to me in Spanish about the incident. But before we go to that, I want to share with you the cell phone video captured uh, of this fiery crash. And I have to warn you, the images are tough to watch and to hear.